Hey everybody, this is Rice Bonds, Montana the Young. All right, last one. Oh yes, this is also a replacement card. Um, I have another Bonds Auto uh, a raw one just like this. Um, the difference being that the corners are a little bit shabby on my copy. So I picked up what I thought was an upgrade. Now, the problem with the upgrade is that there's this, if you can see the faint sort of white vertical line in the red portrait that doesn't appear in the uh, in the raw version that I have. So it's an upgrade with regard to corners, but a downgrade with regard to surface, which I've always said is the most important thing in a card. So it's one of the times where I guess I have to eat my words a little bit. Um, be humbled by the fact that uh, the, the corners were were enough so that I have always wanted to upgrade them, the corners. Um, I'm going to have to compare the raw card to this because I don't know if it was an upgrade. It may be just a second copy. Uh, I'm going to compare the autographs to see which one it, is more sweeping. I believe, I believe my raw one has a slightly nicer, fuller, more legible autograph of this style. But, um, yeah, I mean, I just have to see. Uh, this is a beautiful card. Um, I have ventured into autographs recently. So I, I do like the full autograph that sort of began in um, 04, 05. Uh, this is a this is a great card, um, graded in nine for its corners and its surface. Uh, the I, I, the autograph is not going to fade. You know this 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 paperboard is so grainy and retro that the ink just sort of sinks into the porous material that is paper. Um, it's it's just a gorgeous card. So. That is going to round out the high-end cards that I've received. That's funny that two cards are replacement cards, really. Uh, this is an upgrade. This is a downgrade. Then you got two more Chrome. Then you got the iconic 1998 Bowman's Best Atomic Refractor out of 100 that I feel like any player collector from the 90s needs to have of their player. You got the much lesser known 2000 UD Hit Brigade die cut. Uh, beautiful card, probably underappreciated. It's the type of card that um, that you kind of have to go after now because some of the really big name cards like this are harder to come by. It's just the prices have sort of ballooned. Um, okay, guys. Well, this is it. 